In 2011, at our quinceanera, I gave a speech inspired by JFK's 1960s moon speech. He had said back then that before his decade was out, that the U.S. would land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth. Fifty years later, in 2011, I said that before this 20-teens decade was out, we would transplant an end-stage lung disease patient with a manufactured lung and return them safely back to health. At the time, we were about as close to that goal as the U.S. was to the moon goal when Kennedy gave a speech, which was far, far away. John Glenn had barely orbited the Earth for the first time, and rockets often failed on launch. Now, seven years later, in 2018, I can hardly believe that not only did we accomplish our goal ahead of schedule, and not just once or twice, like the 1960s Apollo program, but that we have used our manufactured lungs to bring many dozens of end-stage lung disease patients safely back to health. Now, as remarkable as this is, and I swear to God, I pinch myself every day that we're doing this, if someone told me back in 2011 that not only would we accomplish our goal, and not only once but dozens of times, but that our manufactured lungs would work so well that a patient with a pair of them would actually win a gold medal in the shot put at the U.S. transplant games, I'd say, like, no way. I mean, that's, that's, that's insane. But in fact, that is actually what happened, and now it is my great honor to invite up to the stage Heather Leverington. May I hold your hand? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Heather is a former college shot put champion who later found herself diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension, just like our daughter Genesis. Heather, it is my great honor to give you the first UT Champion Award for your heroism in battling lung disease, your courage in accepting our manufactured lungs, and your sportsmanship and victory at this year's U.S. Transplant Games. Like, what a beautiful world it is. To me, Heather is like just the epitome of everything that's beautiful about being alive right now. We are gathered here on this autumn.